Hi guys, welcome to the RP Residence Commission. Now we have discussed another important lecture in selectivity classes. Okay, so this question is given in uh, December 2017 for four marker. Okay, the easier question regarding to the organic chemistry. Okay, now in this reactions, uh, in this uh, question here it involves uh, two types of reaction. One is Peterson olefination. One is a uh, Peterson olefination. Another one is a uh, uh, sharp plus asymmetric epoxidation. Sharp plus uh, asymmetric epoxidation. So, if you know the concept of, uh, if you know the selectivity as well as a uh, stereochemistry of the uh, both both reactions, uh, this question is very easier, very easier. Now, let us go through the first uh, first concept that is Peterson olefination. So, now here it is generally uh, here it is the uh, SI methyl. That means here it is OH. This is simply it is called a beta hydroxysilane intermediate. Okay. Now here the stereochemistry of a beta hydroxysilane uh, intermediate is mainly depends upon the conditions. Uh, now generally A for A, A acidic medium, basic medium. So in generally acidic medium here it undergoes the anti-elimination. Basic medium here it undergoes the syn elimination. I think over there in uh, CSR net advanced name reactions, I will discuss them like uh, A for apple in general cases, A for anti-elimination in uh, like uh, pits and olefination cases. That is very easy to remember the concept. Okay, A for anti-elimination. That means acid in anti-elimination. Okay, so here they are given in the stereochemistry like uh, it is below the plane, it is above the plane. Okay, now they are given the uh, like uh, acidic medium. So in generally acidic medium means uh, it undergoes the anti-elimination. Okay, here it undergoes the anti-elimination. The, both the groups are already present over the anti-position. Anti That's why it eliminates as usually. It eliminates the as usually. So this is called uh, Peterson olefination. Peterson olefination. Now here after the Peterson olefination they are given in the like a, a TBAF uh, that is a fluoride reagent. So that fluoride uh, will deprotonate the like a silane group here TBDMS means uh, like a silane TBD that means a tertiary butyl tertiary butyl dimethyl silane dimethyl silane this is the group now whenever the reagent which send the fluoride ion over the like a silane group now here it becomes O minus that O minus uh, will uh, obstruct the proton from aqueous molecule now it becomes uh, like uh, this is the alcohol so our product is A yeah. okay so whenever they are given in the basic medium if it is if they are given in the basic medium that means uh, basic syn elimination requires so the requirement of syn elimination the both the groups are on opposite side that's why your CC bond rotation requirement Okay, in case of basic medium, but they are given in the acidic medium, acidic anti-elimination, they are already given in the anti-position. That's why no need to rotation of CC bond. No need to rotation of CC bond. Now we will get the like a trans, that means the E L alic alcohol. E L alic alcohol. So this is the first information. So generally, uh, uh, generally we observe the options uh, A and B. So generally we are find the A option only. So A that means here. E olefins. Now here C and D are Z olefins. C and D are Z olefins. These two are eliminated. So no, uh, these two are not our options. It is very very easy method to eliminate the problems. Okay. Now let us go through the second case that is a sharp plus asymmetric epoxidation. Sharp plus asymmetric epoxidation. If you have any doubt regarding to the like a Peterson olefination, so just watch the Peterson olefination video on CSR net advanced and reaction. I will explain very clear manner. Okay. Now we we'll go through the sharp plus epoxidation. So I'll explain uh, briefly on the uh, symmetric sharpness epoxidation. Here, the data they are given in the chiral axis that is a debt ligand, either plus a debt or a minus a debt based on their chirality. So here, plus or minus debts are there. So plus a debt or minus debt. So based on the like a uh, phase of the allylic alcohol, we will we will consider we will find the their stereochemistry. So generally, V phase double bonds uh, that is having the re and the psi phases. So generally chiral compounds having the R and S now increased, but double bonds or olefinic compounds uh, will is denoted by the re and the side phases. Okay. Now here re phase plus data below the plane. So generally this is the epoxide plane. So here it is the stereochemistry of epoxide. Okay. Now I give the four important points, very uh, useful points. Okay. Now here again re minus data, re minus data that is above the plane okay now however psi minus debt or psi plus debt again psi plus debt re plus debt below the plane the opposite of the psi plus debt that is above the plane okay again psi phase minus debt 
that is below the plane. So these four are the very important rules regarding to the Sharpless asymmetric oxidation. Okay, now if we want, we want to find the first one, we have to, we, uh, we want to find the like a uh, stereochemistry of uh, olefin, allylic alcohols. If our allylic alcohol rephase, then our, uh, they are given in the uh, like uh, plus above the plane. The plus sorry not the above the plane plus beta we will get the below the plane asymmetric alcohol this so if our uh, our uh, allylic alcohol is uh, psi phase if they are given in the plus data that means of uh, psi plus plus data we will get the above the plane alcohol above the plane alcohol generally re plus below the plane that is enough to remember all the things re plus below the plane that means re minus above the plane so re plus is below the plane psi plus is the above the plane so very easier to remember all the, all these topics now I will write the uh, okay. Now I'll write the those concept uh, re plus bet that is below the plane. This is enough to show the our concept. Okay, so re minus data above the plane. So I, psi plus data above the plane. Psi minus data below the plane. Now so here we will get the this type of uh, olefin. This type of allylic alcohol, not the olefin. Okay, so in generally the uh, notation of uh, R and psi, R and re and psi phases. Generally, here it is the chiral carbon. Okay, now here we, we need to find the re and the psi phase of this carbon. Okay, that means here it is the carbon carbon double bond. Here it is the carbon CH2. Here it is the H. So, based on the like a uh, uh, CAP rules, uh, Kahn in gold prelog rules. Okay, we will we will give, assign the priority of the surrounding groups. So in generally here carbon, here carbon, here is this hydrogen. So hydrogen is the least atomic number that gets the least priority. Now here both the carbon atoms are highest numbers. Okay, so here here it is carbon atom. Here also it is the carbon atom. So whenever which is directly connected to the carbon atom in the multiple bond, that is uh, duplicate rule is applicable. So duplicate rule means uh, here it is the two carbon atoms. Here only one carbon, two hydrogens, one oxygen. That's why. So here gets the highest priority when compared to the second one. Why? Because here are multiple bonds. That means here it is considered as a two carbon bonds. Two carbon bonds. Again, now here it is second priority. This is the least priority. This is the least priority. When we assign the priorities of the groups, so then started the priority. Then started the rotation from lowest number to highest number. So one, two, 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 three. Like it, it is a clockwise rotation. It is a clockwise rotation. That means one, two, three. So here it is. The the clockwise rotation that is a rephase. So if rotation will be like this, one, two, three, that is the anti-clockwise rotation, 12, 11, 12, 10, that is the anti-clockwise rotation, that is the side phase, that is the side phase. Now let us go through the, so our, our question, so whether it is a rephase or side phase. Okay, clockwise rotation, rephase, anti-clockwise rotation, side phase. Now here, it is the allylic position. Now we are we want to assign the re and psi phases over this carbon. That means here it is the in in allylic alcohol, so double bond always gets the first priority. It is a, another important point. Okay, now here it is the second. Here it is the third. So now I rotate the molecule like this. That is the clockwise rotation. Now this, so many students, are, so many number of students, they are confused with rotation. Here it is one two three. That means so one two three clockwise rotation. Twelve like a 12, 11, 10, that is anti-clockwise rotation. Now here it is the clockwise rotation. So clockwise rotation, that means it is a rephase. That is rephase. Okay, now here rephase, uh, uh, our, our allylic alcohol is a rephase. They are given in the plus date. Okay, rephase plus date, that means below the plane of, uh, below the plane of, uh, below the plane of uh, epoxy. Okay, now here, here olefin is below the plane. So we are already eliminated two options, that, that is the two Z olefins, two Z allylic alcohols. Now here, among the remaining two, we have easily select the correct appropriate answer. Now we will get the below the plane alcohol, that below the plane is A is our option, not B. Why? Because they are given in the plus date. So rephase at plus date, we will get the below the plane alcohol, not the above the plane alcohol. Okay, this is the very easier manner to find the like a selectivity of a, a different and different question. Okay. So this is the very simple method to find the, to solve the problems regarding to the like a uh, Peterson olefination as well as a uh, sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching.